Someone told me a long, long time ago, they said, Ernie, your name tag is who raised you, and the entity on your patch and on your badge is who you represent. Don't disgrace either. How's it going guys? I'm against it press and we are coming to you today from Sandusky, Ohio. We are in the downtown area here in Sandusky and we're just gonna pay a little visit on the folks here today, uh, take some video and see what's good. Let me give you a little view of the neighborhood here where we are. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Thursday, July 27th, 2023. It is 2.50 in the afternoon and it is 80 degrees, sunny, breezy, and absolutely beautiful in Sandusky, Ohio. I hope you all are out there doing something you love with some folks you can tolerate. And if there's no sunshine where you are, we we'll certainly invite you to make some of your own. That's what we're gonna do here today, so stand by. Hey, Megan out there watching. What's up? What's happening? Welcome to Sandusky, Ohio. Yeah. Ready to go see how these folks are doing today? Let's check it out. Let's take a walk. How are you doing, guys? What's up? What's happening? What's up? He's, he's just talking about how he watches all your videos. Right on, man. How's it going? Appreciate you guys. How are you guys going? First names? I'm Evan. This is Scott. Scott. Evan and Scott. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, guys. Here in Sandusky. Yes, sir. It's just awesome. got here. What you guys? Beautiful place. What you guys getting into today? Just, just literally doing the intro, starting it up, man. Don't tell anybody we're here. We won't. All right, brothers. Good, Appreciate man. you. Keep Have on fun. watching. We thank you for staying along. Stay safe. Appreciate it, man. Take care. Hey, no, man. Good, how about yourself? All right. How do you like the, uh... Oh, appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, what, like, is that, is that useful? To the it's very system? useful, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sometimes you get into a thing where there's too many people around to focus on one person. Uh -huh. You just go back and figure it out later. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, good, man. Good. What are you working on here? Uh, we're working at the State Theater right now. So, so it's, uh, it's a pretty good... It's a cool spot. Major renovation type of thing, or yeah, it's a yeah. good time. Right on. They're gonna open it back up, I guess. When it's ready. Cool. Yeah. Right on. Mm -hmm. Have a good Appreciate one. Appreciate you, man. Have a good day. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Love you guys, man. Thank you. Got to give you a fist bump on that one. I'll give you a handshake on that one, brother. I appreciate you, my man. How you doing, brother? Good, doing good. What's your first name? Nate. Nate, pleasure to meet yeah. you, Nate. You're Mrs. Nate. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> cool. What's up, Ben? How you doing, brother? You watch us too? Yeah, I. I Listen. Hate so you're part of the Twelve Percent Club. Yeah. I watch you every day. Drives her nuts, man. Right on. Well, hey, keep what. Oh, you know what? I'm all zoomed in on you guys too. I'm sorry I did that to you. You're good, man. But uh, yeah, no, I appreciate you watching, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks Welcome for the to support. Sandusky. Very cool. Thank you, and I appreciate you guys stopping to say hello. Oh yeah, man. Thanks. I love watching you guys. Bro. Awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. You guys are doing great, all right? Man? Right on. Thank you, brother. Have How a good day, doing, guys. Bye. Be safe. Be safe. Hey, guys. Yeah, you too, man. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hey, Doug. Good. How are you? Good. What you doing? Taking some video. Oh, cool. Yeah. Take a little video of your straw. I was hoping to get somebody walking, in, either walking in or out. Oh. Just don't get me in it. Don't get you in it. No. Oh, you're in it already. Alright, let's go. Sorry, I can't hear you. You're gonna take out my I couldn't I, I, I still don't know what you said. Videotape me. What what's the issue? But I need permission you need permission to videotape me. Why do I need permission? Because I don't know where this is going. Huh. So why would you come out and Because I have a right to know what's going on. Okay. You have a right to know what's going on? Uh -huh. You didn't ask me what's going on. You asked me what am I doing. I said I'm making a video and you said just don't put me on it went back in the store. What's going on? Well, I told you I'm making a video. Of what? 
Well, you don't want to be on it, so why would you want to stand here and talk to me? I would just suggest you go back to work and don't be on it. But if that's you need what you my need permission. To not if you're not on me. it, I don't need your permission. That's what I'm telling you. I'm, yeah, I'm confused. Do you want to be in the video or you don't? I don't. Okay, so why do you keep coming out talking to me? Because I think I have a right to know what you're videotaping. Oh, okay. So what are you videotaping? Well, I don't, I'm not interested in explaining myself at this point. Why is that? That would be an explanation. I seriously, if you don't want to be on video, just go back to work. I'm not bothering you. I just walked down the street and you called me back to your store. I didn't call you back to my store. Okay. Well, have a better day. Very strange. All right, well, I'm just going to keep doing what I was doing. Lesson in life, folks. If you don't want to be on camera, don't stick your face in the lens. Is this a new store? No. Been here for a while? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. All right. We're just making a video about the town. We're doing all the businesses. Okay. So just, what we do is we go stand in front of a business and wait for somebody to either walk in or walk out and try to make it a little lively. Oh, okay. okay Buildings okay. are very boring when there's nothing going on. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's always more fun if somebody's walking in yeah. or out. Busier dirt, like earlier in the day. I got you. Is it your store? Um, she is. Um, there's somebody else that I just work for. Her. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Well, my name's Jason. Rachel. Rachel, pleasure to meet nice you, Rachel. To meet you. Have a good day. Stay cool. It's, it's hot in the day. sun. It is. Yeah. It's freezing in there, so I'll take a break. There you go. <laughs> well, have a good day. Thank you. Sorry. Making a travel video for YouTube. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. I, what do you mean by travel video? Just, just we travel around the country. This is my son. Oh, okay. So we travel around the country, we make videos about small towns in the middle of nowhere and put them on YouTube and people like to watch them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. What's your first name? Shaden. Shaden, Jason. Jason? Pleasure to meet you, man. Yeah, you too. What's your name? Ben. Ben? Nice to meet you too, man. Right on. All right, Have a guys. blessed day, man. Yeah, you too. Take care. So it looks like the lady in the Accessories Matter store called the police. Um, we were just walking back from the corner down this way. We went down this street and came back. And uh, Sandusky Police Vehicle S5 just pulled up and the officer went into uh, the AM store there across the street. So. See, and the reality of the situation is, guys, if she would have just stayed inside and not come out and uh, started speaking with us, she wouldn't even have been on our cameras, which is what she claims her issue is. And as I explained to somebody else, I think I included it in there, uh, what we do is, is we go to all the businesses in the downtown, as many as we can get to, uh, while everything's still open, and maybe hang out in front of each business for five or ten minutes maximum. Uh, and hopefully try to get somebody walking in or out uh, because, you know, filming a building like I'm doing right now with nobody going in or out is pretty boring video. Uh, so we always try to get a customer going in and out or employee trying to go in and out, have a little friendly conversation, word, sentence, whatever it is, and move on down the street. Uh, but some people uh, create more than that, and that's what we have now. Hello. You can walk right by us. So, you know, wasn't that more interesting with somebody going in? See, and then that's what happens. The uh, lady that went in with the six twelve pack of beer had no issues. This one's talking her up, and now she'll be upset about seeing somebody filming next time she does. Spreading the uh, spreading the fear. How are we doing, officer? Good about yourselves. All right. 
Uh, Officer Hernandez from the Sandusky Police Department. Yes, sir. The one and only reason I'm out here right now is the lady in there called the business or from the business called us okay. and just had some concerns about people videotaping out here. Sure. Obviously, you guys are out here on a public sidewalk. You're not doing anything illegal. You're not engaged in disorderly conduct. You're not being a voyeur or anything else like that. You're simply two gentlemen walking around just videotaping the city. Yes, sir. And we're a tourist town. That happens everywhere here in this city. Of course. Just some folks might have either feel some sort of way about it because they're being videotaped or whatever the case may be. We don't have any control over that. You guys aren't doing anything illegal by being out here in the city, just, just taking pictures or videographing or whatever the case may be. Well, I appreciate that. So, you know, again, if you don't mind asking and you don't have to answer, <laughs> you know, are you guys with a multimedia company or are you guys just private citizens doing your own thing? No, I'll add you. My name's Jason. This is my son, Ben. How you doing, Ben? And I'm Ernie. Ernie, pleasure to meet you. Yeah, pleasure Officer to meet Hernandez, you as well. Ernie, yeah. you prefer Ernie? Nah, a lot of people just call me Ernie. You got that, it. That uh, you know, sometimes uh, titles are only good for books and movies. <laughs> well, good small town vibes, right? It, and that too. So go. I'm gonna make the safe assumption that in your guys' travels, this probably is the last or first time a, a cops had to talk to you about this. Oh, not least. at all. You carry yeah. these cameras around yeah. it's like a cop magnet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Well, this sure. is too. I love this. I mean, we live in an era right now where there's video cameras everywhere, and the thing is too is that I think there might be a little bit disconnect whenever it comes to knowing what you can and you can't do. Sure. And what people that don't want to be videotaped or what maybe the common layman might not know. Okay. Because what you guys are doing, totally not illegal. Right. You guys, and more or less, this is just a, a First Amendment issue where you guys are engaging and taking pictures. Well, and, I'll tell you what, the mm -hmm. reason we do it is because we mm -hmm. like to show off these little towns. People mm -hmm. enjoy watching the videos. They like meeting the local people, oh, seeing yeah. the local businesses. Mm -hmm. But as a fridge benefit to that, I do not mind if people get educated about people's right to be filming out on the sidewalk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for, for sure. sure. For sure. And the other thing, too, though, is, is that for a lot of folks that do come to this town and Google it and research it, you're absolutely right. It's another tool, you know, especially if when it comes to our tourism industry. We're a tourist town. Sure. It's a fact of life. There are cameras everywhere and anywhere, and we've had several entities here in town. We've had Investigation Discovery. We've had, you know, all the local media outlets like Fox A, right. Toledo News, CNN, Fox News has been out here quite a few times, too, and that's the nature of the beast of being a tourist town. Well, then I would just be presumptuous enough to figure that you mm -hmm. assume that this might go on social media somewhere. That's fine. So you're presenting your <laughs> best self. You're representing yeah. your, your town the way you should. Right, yeah. You're being very positive, yeah. professional, and cordial, yeah. and I appreciate yeah, that. No problem. This is how I talk know, to everybody. <laughs> what, what I enjoy is when mm -hmm. business owners watch this and they mm -hmm. realize maybe they blew a chance for a little good publicity for their place. Oh, exactly. They could have represented their business oh, a little yeah, bit sure. better. So. Mm -hmm. It's a learning thing for myself. I'm learning mm -hmm. something out here every day mm -hmm. myself. I'm hoping the folks that watch are getting something out of well, it. I hope so, I hope too. the police officers are getting something out of it because oh, yeah. each incident is another training mechanism. Oh, it, it is. It is. And the more that, I, I guess to kind of piggyback off that, too, the more that we take the time to just to speak with people and talk to people that we would want to be talked to and right. spoken with, that it just it's just nothing but pleasant. And as, uh, if I may be so bold to use good vibes. Sure. You know, as so absolutely. No, I agree it. with you. So since we're on the topic of tours and what have you, whatnot, are you guys into, uh, or have you guys ever tried microbrews and or sushi? Uh, I have had microbrews. Mm -hmm. It's been a minute. Mm -hmm. If you are interested in one place that I, that I point everywhere or to, or to direct that, everybody to direct everybody to that are from out of town or just okay. curious about the area, best restaurant I've eaten bar none in this town. Cause I'm not from here. I'm from Toledo. Okay. So the best restaurant I've ever been to, at least within Ohio, has been right across there, Small City Tap House. If you like sushi, if you're into microbrews amazing selection i believe ka the owner he's roughly up to about 88 or 90 selections on tap wow wow so, that's a lot oh, oh yeah so, is it a lot of local stuff uh local stuff and their own brewery so right next oh, okay. to their so, right gotcha. next to their establishment there is a brewery called clag or clag it's an acronym okay i'll let you go in there and ask yeah yeah, yeah we'll check it out sure. about that but um attached directly to their restaurant is a brewery called clag and they do roughly about i want to say anywhere between 15 to 20 of their own microbrews. Okay. So if that's like a thing for it, and or if you, hey, you wanna go ahead and check off some boxes, like, you know what? I can at least say I tried a beer from every state. Sure. That's definitely one place you wanna go at least check out because it's, I highly recommend it. Very um, cool. For us on our end, cops, firefighters, EMTs, nurses, doctors, that's a safer place for us to eat because we usually don't run into the clientele we normally run into. Okay. Um, and the owner is very pro police too. Um, he, he absolutely, he loves everybody here in town, but he's always showed a lot of respect, mutual respect, and a lot of consideration to us, too, especially for some of our concerns, you know. Very cool. There only so many places a, you know, cop and firefighter can actually eat and, you know, actually be safe and or... You mean uh, not worry about somebody doing something to exactly. your food? Exactly. I got I never even exactly. thought of that. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, unfortunately, in this business, it is, it's a reality. Um, Makes sense. There's, there's news stories all over the United States about how officers' food has been tainted and or 
they're accosted while they're off duty or whatever the case may be. But right, right. I can tell you right now, in 10 years now, that place being in existence never had an issue like that. Well, that's cool. Good. So if you're in town for a little bit or even for a lot of bit, I highly recommend Small City Tap House and tell them Ernie sent you. Right on. No, I, agree. <laughs> I, will. I will. Is that going to be safe for me or is oh, that yeah, going to be fine. less safe? No, no you're fine. Yeah, no, that's no, you're cool. Fine. No, right so, on. But yeah, you know, again, it's just me having a conversation with him. Again, you guys aren't doing anything no, illegal. No, that's awesome. Just she had an issue with it. And yep. I politely explained to her that it's a free country. This is a public sidewalk. You guys can do pretty much what you please. You guys aren't any different from anybody else walking down the uh, sidewalk or the street. Sure. It just happens you guys have video cameras. And I get it. A lot of people mm -hmm. don't have never been put in that situation mm -hmm. before or have never right. wound mm -hmm. up in that situation so they don't know what the law is and they don't mm -hmm. know what the legality is. Mm -hmm. Maybe because that's what I do for a living and I've been yeah. doing it for many, many years. I mm -hmm. don't see what the fear is of people. Mm -hmm. You know, I always, the, the mm -hmm. famous one everybody says is when I was a kid, people used to jump in front of the camera and say, hi, mom. Right. Everybody yeah. wanted to be on yeah. your camera. Yeah. Now where yeah. the fear and yeah. stuff comes from, it's a yeah. sad thing. It's not a... We do live in a very litigious society, and um, I'm going to make the safe assumption you're a child of the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, late 60s. Late 60s, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, good. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I, I was raised probably in the same bracket as him. I was born in 84, and the world was a lot different then as opposed to 2014 or even going forward here For in a few years sure. to 2024. Yes, so, I mean, I, I think, too, what, what a lot of it can be, too, is perception. You know, that's, that's what a lot of a lot of either publicity and or being in public is anymore is this perception and there's just some folks out there that still just don't appreciate being videotaped well but you know what I you, you showing up being mm -hmm. educated professional and courteous mm -hmm. helps the situation oh. and i think each person that you speak to because people put a lot of faith into what you say mm -hmm. because you're wearing the uniform oh yeah for sure so mm -hmm. coming from you if i mm -hmm. told her it's legal means nothing to her if you tell right. her it's legal she'll take that for mm -hmm. what it is and mm -hmm. so we yeah. appreciate you being that way yeah, we appreciate no you spreading the truth and the yeah, uh, no real situation and quelling mm -hmm. some fears and oh yeah that's... making it a better place to be man oh yeah for sure i appreciate that too you know uh every now and again we'll have we'll, we'll run into issues like this every now and again it's far and few in between, but what I tell everybody is if I talk to and I treat everybody like I want my 90-year-old grandmother to be treated, sure. I'll be just fine. Well, and I get it. Some guys with cameras probably aren't yeah. all that friendly, but then I'll mm -hmm. tell you what. I've You asked me if I've run into police before with my camera. Mm -hmm. There's some cops out there that are really mm -hmm. not that friendly. Yeah, well, so I can't, I can't speak about that. We can both appreciate each other here today. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to talk about the cameraman no, either. No, no, you're good. No, you're right good. on, man. No, the, uh, every, every cop is different, and we're living in a society and a nation right now that, that there's a lot of more or less... And just to make an observation, not an opinion, but there is a lot of civil unrest and or a lot of civil discord, for lack of better words. For um, sure. Whenever it comes to Absolutely. the public and interactions with police and, you know, still having faith in police. But I can tell you right now, just speaking for me personally, you know, I do still do appreciate the folks that still have trust and a lot of faith in us. And it's one step at a time. You know, and I also appreciate the guys out there doing the job the right way. So. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I don't, again, the, what someone told me a long, long time ago, they said, Ernie, your name tag is who raised you. And the entity on your patch and on your badge is who you represent. Don't disgrace either. That's, so I said, okay. That's for sure. Don't forget about yourself, too. Oh, you don't want to too, make you yourself know. look bad for yeah. yourself. Oh, yeah. That, that's just Very incidental. important. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. Well, well we appreciate you, Ernie. Yeah, no problem. Well, Thank you, sir. I'm going to get out of your way. You have a wonderful day. Um, hopefully, this is the last time you got to see any one of us. Oh, somebody else might call like you again, yeah, but so. now you know we're here. But, so. but yeah, hopefully, one of my letter dispatchers know, too, is that you guys are here in town. If you get if we get any more phone calls, unless you're engaging in some kind of illegal or and or disorderly behavior, there's nothing we can do about it. I get it. So, I mean, I'll let our dispatchers know. All right, Ernie. Appreciate you, man. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hello. Hi. You guys shooting anything fun today? Shooting anything fun? Yeah. Always. Always got to be fun, right? If it ain't fun, why do it? Amen to that. Yeah, yeah. How's it going? Good. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, You're too. You're with the bank? I am. The credit union? Yes, I am. Yeah. I appreciate that. Uh, Jason, hard name for me to forget. Hey, is your, yours as well? That's my name. All, All right. right. Yes, sir. I was just curious. Very cool. I was just curious what you guys shooting for. If you oh, I'm sorry. My, yeah, well, this is my son. And, ben, uh, nice to meet you. We travel the country making travel videos for YouTube. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. First time in Sandusky? First time in Sandusky. Yes. Okay. I got to make sure I'm saying it right. First day in Sandusky. First hour. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm glad uh, you came down to see us. I appreciate it. Very cool. It. No, I appreciate you coming out and saying hello. This is, um, so you got kind of like maybe an eight block radius of this area. Okay. Um, is a lot of different little businesses, mostly local owned, uh, you know, shop owners and stuff like that. Okay. Restaurants, bars. I bet you've loaned a lot of them money. Uh, some of it. <laughs> some of it. A couple of them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is... Uh, 
completely different. From, I'm born and raised here. Oh, you and are? Cool. I, yeah. Very so cool. downtown has been revitalized in the last 10 years or so. Okay. Um, we've had a lot of old money and new money come back in and redo some of the buildings down here, open up businesses where when I was growing up, uh, there was maybe a handful of bars, a couple gotcha. places you could eat only. Lots of um, places to get in trouble. Y yeah, not, you didn't yeah. want to maybe necessarily be down here after dark on you gotcha. know a Saturday night necessarily gotcha. if you sure. weren't trying to get in trouble. Not like that anymore. C correct. Wow, very it, cool. It's just pretty awesome. Nice. Um, but not sure what you guys have planned while you're here. But you got the islands. You got Cedar Point. Whereabouts are you guys from? If you don't mind. South Dakota. I just helped uh, somebody out moving from South Dakota back to Ohio this Did past cool. week. Yeah. Right on. Well, right I hope on. you guys enjoy uh, yeah, while you. you're here. If yeah. you have questions about the area like you know looking for places to eat or something like that okay what are you uh, here till five o'clock i am cool. i am it's my birthday tomorrow so i'm out but my cell phone's on that card well no happy reason. early birthday thank you i definitely appreciate you and thank you for your help hey my pleasure very cool hey enjoy the area appreciate guys you, I, was just, I was just curious wanted to no that's awesome i'm really glad you came out awesome right, jason brother. and ben right yes sir you guys have a wonderful day you do the same enjoy your time while you're here in sandusky thank you thanks a lot guys I always knew I was a movie star. There you go. It's your 15 minutes of fame. What are you going to do with it, right? Have a good day. You too. Spanish, yeah. Hispanic, Mexican. Do you need us to move anything? Put you guys doing? Oh, no, you guys are good. I was just going to take a little video of your sign there. Cool. That's okay. Yeah, good. Cool. Where's it going? Online on YouTube. Sweet. Yeah, we make... Tra thing. Yeah, we make travel videos. Cool. Oh, it's your shop? No, no, she's my boss's shop. Oh, I got you. Okay. My cool. uh, my boss Robin owns it. She doesn't tattoo very often. She's got like three Guinness World Records and really. Yeah, yeah. One of her that's her certificate right there for one of them. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Forty-eight hours. Longest tattoo session. That's awesome. She did like seventy some hours, didn't she? Yeah, I think her longest one is on multiple people for like seventy. I 76. hope the guy that got the tattoo for 48 hours got a certificate too, because that's an that's an accomplishment. I'm sure you can, <laughs> see her, you can take a picture of her stencil if you want. Stencils on the inside. Yep. You want to cool. see it? Sure. All right. Yeah. Let's go look at it. Awesome. That's the dude. That's her tattoo on him. Oh, and then wow. That's the stencil. Straight through 48 hours. Well, so she tattooed. I believe this one she tattooed for. 14 hours straight and then take a break. Wow. Well, thank you for inviting us in. I got to tell you, extra benefit. Thank you for the air conditioning. Oh, no, yeah. You Feels guys, awesome. I mean, if you guys need a break and you want to come back and hang out in the air for a minute, you're See, welcome. tattoo people are so cool. Oh, yeah. Everybody yeah. always Literally. thinks we're scary. We're not. No, no not at all. Here, right. I'll give them to you. If not, I'll slip some stickers under your door for you. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. a little mail slot yeah, right there on the side slot. of the door. Oh, I appreciate you. My name's Jason, by the way. Jason, Athena, Athena. Apprentice. Apprentice. Yes, that's our apprentice. Is that your real name? No. <laughs> that's the studio name. Cool. Yes. And your name? Marnie. Oh, I thought you were going to say master. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. No, that is Robin. No. Nobody yeah. wants to be master. That's I, I know I don't. That's yes. Robin. But thank you guys. Yeah. I really appreciate you. Yeah. And thanks yeah, for the thank smiles, you. too. It means a lot. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate it. Not a problem. It. Have a good day. Have a good one. Thank, thank you, Mr. Apprentice. Here. Have a good day. You too. You get a season pass for like 500. Making an uh, advertisement? No, no, no. No? Just a video. Oh, okay. Happy ending? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, there you go. No, I like the shirt, man. by the way. Oh, thank That's you. That's very yeah. cool. I don't want to be in the way. No, no worries. Thank you. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good, man. Beautiful Good. day, huh? Yep, sure is. Enjoy it. If you're taking a picture of the rooftop bar, you just take the elevator right up to the fourth floor. Okay. So. All right, yep. cool. All right. All right, appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you so problem. much. Have a good day. Nice to meet you. It was Jason, right? Yes. Nikki? What's your name? Ben. Ben, nice to meet both of you. Same yes. here. <laughs> take care. All right, well, we're going to uh, take... Nikki up on her invitation to go up to the rooftop bar here and see if we can get a look at that for you guys. So stand by.
Hey, we meet again. Hey, how are you? How's it going? <laughs>